Hello, welcome to Jesus for All 2. God's Word, Your Daily Bread, the Bible. For April 25th, 2023, here you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, the Bread of Life, with the goal of hearing all of the Bible by the end of December 2023 increasing our faith and pleasing the heavenly father for the book of rome hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 reads but without faith it is impossible to please him for he who comes to god must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him and the book of romans chapter 10 verse 17 reads so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god and the book of jude chapter 1 Verse 20 reads in the Amplified, But you, beloved, build yourselves up, founded on your most holy faith. Make progress, rise like an edifice, higher and higher, praying in the Holy Spirit. We know from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. And John 15, 7 reads, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit. So you will be my disciples. And the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 23 reads, And this is his order, his command, his injunction, that we should believe in, put our faith in, and trust and adhere to and rely on the name of his Son, Christ the Messiah, and that we should love one another just as he has commanded us. All who keep his commandments, who obey his orders and obey and follow his plan, live and continue to live, to stay and abide in him, and he in them. They let Christ be a home to them, and they are the home of Christ. And by this we know and understand and have the proof that he really lives and makes his home in us by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Amen. And so the words of life that we shall hear today, April 25th, are Psalm 117, continuing the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 1 through 52, and the Old Testament reading will be from the book of Joshua, chapter 16 through chapter 18, verse 28. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, unless otherwise noted. Copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. I'd like to thank every listener of Jesus for All Too. I pray that your faith is increasing and your knowledge of the promises of God and your knowledge of the way to walk and live the abundant life that our Lord and Savior came from heaven, died, rose, and sits on the right hand of God that we might have in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And now Psalm 117, and it reads, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Lord him, all you peoples. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. And this word, in the name of Jesus Christ, is already blessed. As I pray in Jesus' name, is every hero. Hallelujah. And glory to God in the highest. And now continuing in the book of Luke with chapter 2. The book of Luke, chapter 2, and it reads, And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census, census first took place while Quirinus was governing in Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. Six. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. 7. And she brought forth her first son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds, living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, 
and they were greatly afraid. Verse 10. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. 12. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, verse 14, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us go into Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. 17. Now when they had seen him, they made, they made widely known the saying which was told, from, told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. 21. And when the eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. 26. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, verse 29, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. 33. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken to him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Verse 36. Now there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years, who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers day and night. And coming in that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. So when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong in the spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. 41. His parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover, and when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. When they had finished the days as they returned, the boy Jesus lingered behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother did not know it. 44. But supposing him to have been in the company, they went a day's journey and sought him among their relatives and acquaintances. So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. Now so it was that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. 49. And he said to them, why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? 
verse 50. But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth, and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these things in her heart. Verse 52 and last for today. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and men. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, is every hero. Imagine the faith that Joseph had to have hearing Jesus say that in the name of Jesus Christ. And now the Old Testament reading. But he knew that Jesus from the Spirit was the Lord's child. Amen. And now Joshua chapter 16, and it reads, The lot fell to the children of Joseph from Jordan by Jericho to the waters of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goes up from Jericho through the mountains to Bethel. Then went out from Bethel to Luz, passed along to the border of the Achites at Ataroth, and went down westward to the boundary of the Japhites, as far as the boundary of Lower Beth Horon to Gezer, and it ended at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh and Ephraim, took their inheritance. The border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. The border of their inheritance was on the east side. The border of their inheritance on the east side was Adaroth, Adar, as far as upper Beth Horon. And the border went out toward the sea on the north side of Michmathatheth. Then the border went around eastward to Tana, Shiloh, and passed by it on the east of Janoha. Then it went down from Janoha to Astaroth and Nara, reached to Jericho, and came out at the Jordan. 8. The border went out from Tapua westward to Brook Kana, and it ended at the sea. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, according to their families. Verse 9. The separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they did not drive out the Canaanites who dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwelt dwell among the Ephraimites, Ephraimites to this day and have become forced laborers. Chapter 17. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, namely for Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh. The father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, Therefore he was given Gilead and Bashan. And there was a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh, according to their families, for the children of Abiezer, the children of Halek, the children of Azrael, the children of Shechem, the children of Hefer, and the children of Shemida. These were the male children of Manasseh, the sons of Joseph, according to their families. Verse 3. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machur, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but only daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milcah, and Terzah. And they came near before Eliezer the priest, before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the rulers, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brothers. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among their father's brothers. 5. Ten shares fell to Manasseh besides the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side of the Jordan. Because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of the Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. Verse 7. And the territory of Manasseh was from Asher to Michmethahath, that lies east of Shechem. And the border went along south to the inhabitants of in Tapua. Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. Verse nine. And the border descended to the brook Cana, southward to Brook. The cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The border of Manasseh was on the north side of the brook, and it ended at the sea. Verse ten. Southward it was Ephraim's, northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea was its border. Manasseh's territory was adjoining Asher on the north and Issachar on the east. 11. And in Issachar and in Asher, Manasseh had Beth Shean and its towns. 
Iblim and its towns, the inhabitants of Dor and its towns, the inhabitants of Indor and its towns, the inhabitants of Tanakh and its towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its towns, three hilly regions. 12. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites were determined to dwell in the land. 13. And it happened when the children of Israel grew strong that they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not utterly drive them out. Verse 14. Then the children of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given us only one lot and one share to inherit, since we are a great people inasmuch as the Lord has blessed us until now? So Joshua answered them, If you are a great people, then go up to the forest country and clear a space a place for yourself there in the land of the Perizzites and the giants, since the mountains of Ephraim are too confined for you. 16. But the children of Joseph said, The mountain country is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites who dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron. Both those are of Beth Sheen, and its towns and those who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spoke to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, saying, You are a great people and have great power. You shall not have only one lot, but the mountain country shall be yours. Although it is wooded, you shall cut it down, and its farthest extent shall be yours. For you shall drive off the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots and are strong. Chapter 18. Now the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of meeting there, and the land was subdued before them. But there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. Then Joshua said to the children of Israel, How long would you neglect to go and possess the land which the Lord God God of your fathers has given you? Pick out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them. They shall rise and go through the land, survey it according to their inheritance, and come back to me. And they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah, Judah shall remain in their territory on the south, and the house of Joseph shall remain in their territory on the north. You shall therefore survey the land in seven parts and bring the survey here to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. 7. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan on the east, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. Then the men arose to go away, and Joshua charged those who went to survey who went to survey away, charged those saying, go and walk through the land, survey it and come back to me and come back to me that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went, passed through the land and wrote the survey in a book in seven parts by cities. And they came to Joshua at the camp at Shiloh in Shiloh. Then Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua divided the land to the children of Israel according to their divisions. Verse 11. Now the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families. And the territory of their lot came out between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. Verse 12. Their border on the north side began at the Jordan, and at, and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north, and went up through the mountains westward. It ended at the wilderness of Ben Avin. The border went over from there towards Luz to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward, and the border descended to Ataroth, Adar, near the hill that lies on the south side of lower Beth Horon. 14. Then the border extended around the west side to the south from the hill that lies before Beth Horon southward, and it ended at Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jerem, a city of the children of Judah, that this was on the west side. The south side began at the end of Kirjath Jerem, and the border extended on the west and went out to the spring of waters of Nephatoa. Then the border came down to the end of the mountain that lies before the valley of the son of Hinnom which is the valley of the Rephaim on the north, descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of the Jebusite city, on the south, and descended to Enrogel. And it went around from the north wind north, went out to En Shemesh, and extended toward Geliloth, which is before the ascent of Adulamim, 
and descended to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. 18. Then it passed along toward the north side of Arabah and went down to Arabah. And the border passed along to the north side of Beth Haglah. Then the border ended at the north bay at the Salt Sea, at the south end of the Jordan. This was the southern boundary. 20. The Jordan was its border on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to its boundaries, all around, according to their families. Verse 21. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, Beth Haglah, Emekezes, Beth Arabah, Zemarim, Bethel, Avim, Para, Ophrah, Chepa, Hamoni, Ophni, and Gaba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, Ramah, Bethroth, Mizpah, Chepara, Moza, Zelan, Moza, Rekim, Erpil, Tarla, Zela, Eleph, Jebus, which is Jerusalem, Gebeth, and Kirjath, and Kirjath, fourteen cities with their villages. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to their families. Amen. And this is word, and this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, is every hearer. And now Psalm fifty-two, and it reads: Why do you boast in evil, Almighty Man? The goodness of God endures continually. Your tongue devises destruction like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love evil more than good, lying rather than seeking righteousness. Selah. You love all devouring words, you deceitful tongue. God shall likewise destroy you forever. You shall, he shall take you away and pluck you out of your dwelling place and uproot you from the land of the living. Selah. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him, saying, Here is the man who did not make God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God for ever and ever. I will praise you for ever, because you have done it. And in the presence of your saints, I will wait on your name, for it is good. And let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you that my boast is in good. Your goodness, O Lord, endures continually. In Jesus' name, my tongue constructs and works righteousness. I love good and speaking righteousness. My tongue speaks life and trust worthy words in the name of Jesus Christ. God will make me live forever. He shall not allow me to be plucked up from my dwelling place, not in the land of the living, nor in the afterlife with him, in the name of Jesus Christ in eternity. Hallelujah and glory to God. I am of the righteous because of the blood of the Holy Son, Jesus. And I fear the Lord. I shall laugh at the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ. I am the man who makes God my strength. I trust in the abundant of my good shepherd in the name of Jesus Christ who has said I will not lack I am strengthened by the blood of Jesus Christ and in him me there is no wickedness only the righteousness of God because of his blood I am like a green olive tree in the house of God I trust in the mercy of the Lord God forever and ever I will praise you O father in the name of Jesus Christ because you have done it and in the presence of your saints my brethren I wait on your name for it is good. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And Psalm 107 verse 20 reads, He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Father, thank you for presenting your word and healing us. In Jesus' name, and delivering us from every destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. In Jesus' name.